So here we are with a uh, cat and <laughs> putting some uh, banana pancakes. Cinnamon banana pancakes. Cinnamon banana pancakes. With coconut milk. Oopa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's put the mark left. Let's flip over here. And let's see outside. Nice. We have our clothes getting dry. The power of the sun as a latrine compost. Caleb, you would love this. And uh, the ocean is down there. I'll show you more of the city once we get out of there. We're out of here. Oh yeah, and um, where are they? Yeah, they have these. These are actually Tabasco peppers. Bunch of them over there. And um, have these little white guys, little yellow guys. And, um, <laughs> and then you have these trumpet flowers here. A lot closed up, and apparently, if you make a brew out of it or something, they're hallucinogenic. So let's have breakfast. Can you take up a shower? Oh, let me show the shower. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's a shower. shower head and everything oh yeah this is the these are the Tabasco plants here they're just getting ripe I love the Tabasco peppers okay. the Tabasco peppers yeah they're not ripe actually yeah. there's a lot of problems with them they're not um, they're not producing the way that they should be yeah. He's not taking care of them the way that he should be. <laughs> but, um, and the chickens are eating the peppers as well. Ooh. Yeah. They eat them hot. <laughs> you pay him something to be on his land? No. I'm really helping him. Yeah, I know, but is that, is that <laughs> unique to you? I mean, do other people not do yeah, on like his Yeah, like the teachers that live here, they, they have to rent. They have to rent their houses. I don't, I don't rent anything. Ooh. Uh, usually like 30 bucks a month around there. New York prices. New York prices. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> are we still filming? <laughs> nice. <laughs> you knew my hands were tied. Ah. Got me like multiple Wait. times. Yeah, just go low. <coughs> Look, Mark, we found a local. <laughs> a little pale. <laughs> a little pale to be a local. I want to show you guys where I'm going to build my house. Cool. Right here. Wow, nice. Nice breeze. Oh, perfect. Neighbors. Where's the kitchen? Kitchen? Yeah. It's gonna be, what do you mean the kitchen? <laughs> Where's the kitchen gonna be? It's gonna be like this area. <laughs> or I might put the kitchen out on the porch. Yeah. Are you gonna use that rock for something? Should I'm inter thinking about incorporating the rock yeah. somehow yeah, into the house. Cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. So there's another there's, rock here. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks over here. <laughs> yeah, this is where it's going to be. Awesome. So, is that cocoa? Cacao? Cacao. Yeah, that's cacao. Nice. Cacao right here as well. Oh, I love it. Hola. Vamos para abajo. Que para la vuelta. 
Sí. No está haciendo trabajar. Mm, sí. Si <risa> visitar, hay que trabajar conmigo ya. Así es. Así que, Sí, es para la charla el lunes. Compra siempre o no. ¿Qué? Cara. Cara. Negare. Bueno. Bueno, este. Ya nada más. Yo estaba enseñándole donde voy a poner la casa. Aquí, aquí, de donde Bueno, pues. Nos vemos más tarde. No, no va a comprar. Negare. A tu aida. A tu aida. Is that see you later? Yeah, that's that's no that's no better. No better. A toida. Bye. This is all cacao, but it's all dying. There's a disease here that's killing all the cacao. Uh, it's called uh, and yeah, it's really affecting the area. A lot of people used to export cacao. A lot of it, and now there's like no none left. Wait. It was really sad. Worms eat the coffee skin. Mm -hmm. And they're poop. Dorido. 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 So in the morning it's for the little kids, like element, like primary school, and then in the afternoon it's uh, for the older kids. And kids come from hours and hours away, like they hike here hours a day just to go to the school. And they're putting up the basketball court. <laughs> yeah, as if they needed more exercise, right? Yeah. After hiking for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Builds teamwork. So what's what's the word for hello? Uh, Niantore. Niantore. Niam is like an end sound. Niam. Niam. Niantore. Niantore. And the goodbye? Katwaida. Katwaida. What else do you know? Niantore Dego is like good morning. Niantore Dego. Niantore Dego. They rent, the teachers rent these little houses here. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So they live here in the market. It's like a It's like real world. <laughs> you know, there's like seven or eight teachers and they all live in one house. And I'm sure there's lots of drama that takes place. Drama? I'm sure. They're all really nice though. Yeah, I wonder if we put seven women together. <laughs> well, I'm assuming they're all women for some no, reason. No, they're, they're not all women. They're not? But for them, it's almost like a Peace Corps experience, right? Because they're Latinos, right? So they come from a totally different culture. They go far away from their families and they live here during the week. Buenos dias. Hola. Como esta? <laughs> oh, look at the kid on the horse. Cantore! Cantore! What's up? Mom, Bruno. What happened to him? <laughs> this is what takes people up and down the hill. This is how I get here. <laughs> what are they called? Chiva? Uh, Chivas. Chivas. I wonder where'd that come from. Right? But oh, she was a goat. A, the goat like goats are really known for like calling. <laughs> I'm rolling suitcase, <laughs> and I this is the trail that I had to take to get to where I live. <laughs> With the rolling suitcase. The rolling suitcase. <laughs> oh, I didn't really pack so well today. <laughs> Anyways, I found a horse to take myself. <laughs> a horse went down this. 
Wow. It's a pretty good horse. So you mostly stayed in this area, or you didn't go to that other village? No, I did. This is all the same area. I spent, I... Right, but like, I mean, you would do this trail every day? Yeah. Yeah. And an average day, I track like within an hour or two of this area. I do a lot of hiking. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, I don't only work in that one community. I actually work in like six different communities. Uh-huh. So within like a two hour radius. Uh-huh. And it's all like hiked like mountains. <laughs> and mountains and mountain rivers and sweat a lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut on tape. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming. All right. Yeah. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted to have a fall on tape. <laughs> I'm fine. You got the bike fall. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, not again. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've fallen right. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> Once a day, I take a few basketball. <laughs> yeah. Hello. She's a teacher uh -huh. at this place right here called Nutri Ugar, which is a non-profit organization. What's it called? It's called Nutri Ugar. Nutri Ugar. So like nutrition and like Ugar at home, right? So uh. Uh, it's, the idea is to, uh, for malnourished children to be able to come and get like a decent meal and it's also like an educational thing. Uh-huh. Um, this is where they dry the coffee? This is the beneficio for um, the coffee. Um, oh, that's the machine that they got. That's the depulper. Right. They just got a motor for the depulper so they don't have to do it by hand, but they have some trouble with it right now. It's not calibrated right, so they're still doing it by hand. This is where they wash all the coffee and ferment it all. That's where they dry? And they dry it on this big uh, plancha right here. Oh, that's they're the right. But and then they sift it there. We recently got this secadora um, where you can dry the coffee better. Right. Um, because the problem with the coffee is that the, uh, the coffee season is also the rainy season when they pick it. So, oh, it's still very um, moist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it needs about two weeks of drying. Yeah. And all this water is within the grains, right? Uh, yeah. It's it's within the grains, and it's also because it's washed while it's depulped. Uh -huh. And then yeah. Um. And then yeah. So this this plastic helps it to to dry. Um, not get rained on. Not get rained on. So it's supposed to be you know like a better system, and then. 
these these are called bastidores. And so what happens is that there's like airflow from the yeah. top and from the bottom that you don't get on a concrete plancha. And the small beams are supposed to fall through. Those are the ones that aren't really, really good. Right. Yet, so. Very cool. And then a couple times a day, somebody has to come out and rake this so that it can be properly dragged. So this is where they're actually decoupling all the coffee right now because the machine isn't working. Uh, so it's all done by hand. And then this hose is hooked up to a. <laughs> Oh, I was just hooked up to a river. <laughs> Here. Let's do this. The hose is hooked up to a river. Oh. So it's just constantly running. Um, and then all of this, this cascara, the skin, uh -huh. we're going to use for uh, to make a bono. To make fertilizer. Okay. Organic fertilizer. Right. Monday. Okay. It's going to be really fun. <laughs> so right now they just leave it out there and... Right now it just sits here and uh, it runs the river. off into a river eventually and that's really bad um, because it's super acidic and it does a lot of damage to the rivers, especially because a lot of people drink from the rivers. Oh. So it's, really, it's really bad. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. This is my host family horse. It only has one eye. Only has one eye? Yeah, check out the other side. Huh? Huh? The horses here are really tame. <laughs> We're not like horses in the States that are all skittish, you know? And yeah. Check them out. One eye. Come on. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> I know, poor thing. That's why he's always turning yeah. this way. <laughs> yeah. And how come they don't do it on their own? They just don't have the seeds or they don't know about it? Do like, it like how come they, they, they don't plant tomatoes and cucumbers and all that stuff? Uh, well, on their own. they would except for they don't have seeds and they plant, they're primarily concerned with planting uh, corn and rice. Because uh -huh. that's what keeps you alive. <laughs> right. Tomatoes don't keep you alive. Tomatoes right. are important for nutritional reasons, but right. um, they're they're a lot more like subsistence farmers right. here. So um, rice and corn and beans are the most important things for them to grow. Um, Nutriugar, the organ, the nonprofit organization, um, comes every now and then here and brings us seeds and does does seminars and stuff like that, and then. Um, it's hard to organize people though. It's yeah. Really hard to organize people, but um, this is where we're gonna have the the uh, abono organico charla. We're gonna do a couple different types uh -huh. on Monday. Like a slow compost, a quicker one, and then here we have worms. California red worms. California red. California red worms. Oh, they ran away. They eat, um, <laughs> this should be, uh, this is horseshit, and the cascada from the cafe, but you can see them there. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, there Anyways, they, these worms are amazing. Um, they will eat all of this shit and turn it all into really rich, hummus. really rich hummus that we can use in the garden. Hummus. Yeah. Hummus. 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 Not the kind you eat. But, yeah. Looking good. Oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't smell too bad, right? No, it smells good. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. And here we had, on the other side, we had a bokaki, um, which is like a fast compost. Um, but we used it all. <laughs> Time to make some more. Cool. Right down here. So are these, what are these? Uh, that's called a tatuma. Wow. They're these giant gourds that grow on trees. Um, there's one over there. Oh, here, there's, this is a tatuma tree. 
Um, they use them for like everything, bowls. For Play soccer. soccer. Uh, not for playing, <laughs> more for like, you know, just like using around the house. They have like a pulp inside or what? Yeah, they have a pulp inside. You cut it open, you scrape out all the pulp, and then you let it out, you set it out to dry in the sun, and, uh, and then you use it for bowls, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's another big one there. But yeah, this is where I used to live, like with this family here. Um, Oh, these are also part of Nutrigar. They took care of these are iguanas that they raised. Oh, uh, check them they out. Eat, they eat iguanas here, and then iguanas are endangered. They eat them as food? So, they figure that if you can like put them in a cage, that they'll feel attached reason, to them. That's okay, because you're not like. Wow, look at them these guys. They eat these oh, they're animals. growing. They're so yeah, small. Why would they eat? You know, uh, these are, well, they're growing. I mean, they're raising them. They yeah. a lot of meat on um, even an adult iguana. Uh, they get pretty big. <laughs> they can get pretty big. But yeah, they, they, uh, these are babies still. So. Get that. Lucas. Jorge. 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 Mark. Jorge. 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 No, estoy allá. Cintiano para sembrar poroto. ¿Dónde? Ah, ya. Allá. allá. Ah, ya. Tenía, tenía arroz. Ajá. Este lado todo ese café. Sí, sí, sí. ¿Cuántos días tiene? Allá. Um, noche, a, apenas ayer fue que lo lavé. Sí. Que sí. tenía que lavarlo hace días, pero tenía mucho compromiso. Sí, sí, sí. Ayer fue que lo lavé. Yep, what a beautiful day down here. And we're very close to the beach, it seems. That's a cattle. They're nice. Alright, so we got the beach. Now, right or left? All right, so supposedly we can get surfboards here. Uh, those don't look that great, but it's a beach. All right, so we found a place to stay tonight, and uh, we had a little lunch here. And this is the beach. We were going to. Um, we thought about staying in these little cabañas here. But, uh, they have little houses there, so, yeah, we're going to take the houses. And it's pretty cool. So that's about it for now.